Hey everybody, this is Pete Sanchez and I uh, wanted to share a really quick praise report. Uh, something that only God could have done. This is an amazing praise report. Um, a couple years ago I got myself entangled or ensnared in uh, some private student loans um, back when the credit market was really loose. Uh, I took out $40,000 to purchase some real estate investing education. And then the rest, I also used it to purchase a, pro a couple properties, uh, some houses, some investment properties. And um, it all eventually went down the drain. It all crumbled. And a lot of it obviously had to do with the way the market was. But most importantly, um, the foundation of how I built that supposedly wealth was on a very sandy foundation. Um, it was built on greed. Uh, selfish ambition. I had took one of those properties. Um, I took advantage of my cousin to purchase a property. I used her credit credit score, and uh, you know I promised her that hey, you know I'd refinance you out once the market gets better. Well, the market didn't get better, and uh, got stuck with this property, so that hurt her credit score. Um, you know there was a lot of pain there that I caused, you know, out of my selfishness and just wanting to create wealth and you know I had the right intention but uh, the, it's you know not our intentions are always our intentions could be good but on the underlying intention uh, there's a lot of evil there you know our hearts are pretty could be pretty wicked uh, and deceitful but um, so this debt you know once once the crash happened I was uh, I was like well you know the hell with this I'm not gonna pay any creditors back I was um, I was like, my credit's already ruined, I lost these properties, I don't care about that anymore. And uh, I just didn't pay attention to it for years. Uh, I had like things that were there for like $200, I mean, I could have easily paid them off, but I just let them, I was just like, I, I just didn't care about my credit score. I was like, I'm never going to use credit anyways, and this and that. Um, and I just, I just left that behind. So. Uh, and then recently, uh, say about two years ago, or I think a year ago, uh, De well, December 2014, my wife and I, we went to the Philippines, and, uh, and we met this lady from the States that she was out there living, and uh, she was sharing her story about how God called her to the mission field in the Philippines, but she said that one of the, the main requirements was that she could not leave on the mission field until she was debt free. So this lady was in her 60s. So what she did is she humbled herself and, um, and she got a part-time or full-time or part-time job at Domino's delivering pizza at 60 something years old. And, um, and I was listening to the story and I was like, wow. And she was talking about how she would go door knock on people, right? To deliver the pizza. And she would run into friends that she knew and they would be like, hey, you know, Susan, what's, what's wrong? Like, what are you doing? And they're like, well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to pay off my debt. Um, and, and I have a sense of urgency. I'm supposed to pay off my debt so I can go on the mission field. And just people were very compelled by that. And they would give her like some really large tips uh, to help repair debt, to help repair debts off. And eventually she did. And as I sat there, you know, listening to the story, uh, I'm like, wow, I'm sitting here in this table you know, um, top of I was at the top of my business. Uh, I was a number one Hispanic affiliate in that company worldwide. I mean, six figure income. I'm like, how? How is this lady debt free on a domino salary? And I'm over here, you know, supposed to be Mr. Big Shot in in this company, and I I'm ensnared. I'm entangled by debt. I have debt, and it wasn't the um, you know, it has nothing to do with the amount of income we're making because I could have easily got out of debt during those couple of years. But it was a heart condition. I, I again, I had said, well, I'm not going to take care of that. So I, I left very convicted by that moment. And I said, you know what, God, I'm getting out. I, I, I'm making a commitment to you. I'm making a covenant that I do no longer want to be a slave to the lender. The Bible says I want to I want to become debt free. I want to get out of this mess that I got myself into. And, uh, and I pulled the credit report, I found out what I had on there, and it just started really attacking it, really attacking it. Just like, I was like telling my wife, I was like, we're not gonna go eat restaurants, like every extra money has to go towards paying the debt. And um, 
I bought a bunch of books on, on uh, debt relief, uh, Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University. I just really got hungry and started to study debt and how to erase it and just getting the mindset of getting rid of it. One of, one of the verses um, that I really like regarding you know, being a good steward it was in Proverbs, is in Proverbs 6. Uh, the title of it is Dangerous Promises. And it talks about someone who has ensnared and entangled himself in, in some debt that they cannot repay. And uh, the last verse here in 5, it says, Deliver yourself like a gazelle from the hand of the hunter. Or, or like the hunter could be like the cheetah, right? Chasing the gazelle, wanting to eat it. And like a bird from the hand of the fowler. So basically what that verse means is, you know, when there's a, when a gazelle is running away from like a cheetah, it's not going to walk, right? It's not going to walk away. It's going to run like with intensity. It's going to be like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Like, it's going to kill me. It's going to eat me. It's going to eat me. And that's how, that is how we should attack our death is with that kind of intensity. By the way, that's my neighbor right here, Mike, Michael. Hi. <laughs> His dog, Fiona. Fiona. So... So yeah, so God wants us to attack our debt with intensity like the gazelle, fleeing away from the cheetahs, like to run and, and attack it. And so so that's what I've been doing, um, is just paying off as much debt as I could. And the praise report is um, this April 7th, which is interesting, 7th, that's, that number shows up a lot in our life. You know, 7th is the number of completion. You know, every seven years there's Shemitah, you know, so anyway, so I had my own jubilee. I looked at my recent credit uh, credit report on creditkarma.com, which is a free app, highly recommend. And I noticed that I was like, wait, 700? I was like, I have never seen a 700 credit score in my life. Like, I don't, I've never seen this. And I looked why that happened. And what had happened is that $40,000 got closed by that lender. I don't remember who it was, but they closed that account. Um, basically, it was forgiven. You know, they wrote it off as a loss, and I just sat there and I'm just like, "Wow, God! Like only you could have done that." And you know, and of, of course, I made a covenant to pay a lot of this debt back. But you know, just to, it just reminded me of God's love. Like I don't deserve that. I, I it was my sin, my selfishness that got me in that mess. But yet, Lord, you are still faithful, merciful, um, you know, and, and I just, all I did was just walk in obedience and I, and I made a conscious heart decision that, hey, I want to get out of debt and praying and Lord, help me, help me do this. And, and sure enough, I mean, he wiped out $40,000, guys. That's, I mean, that's a lot of money. Like that's, that's a miracle right there. And I just, it just, I'm just in awe of the love that God has for us as much as we continue to fall short and literally like spit in God's face with our sin and our hypocrisy and just just everything that, that the flesh um, does and yet God still loves us and is willing to help us out. So I just wanted to share that amazing praise report. So if any of you guys are ensnared in debt, um, be like that gazelle, you know, you know, it's time to make a conscious decision. You know what? I'm getting out. Uh, Lord, let's, let's do this. Let's partner up. Help me out here. Uh, bring me the right resources. Bring me some extra income. Whatever I need to do, you know, the right disciplines, the mindsets, the wisdom to be able to get out of debt and uh, and just yeah, just run with it. Run with it like uh, with that intensity again, like the gazelle runs away from the cheetah. So, hope you guys got some value out of this video. Um, stay tuned for some more. You can also go to my blog at connectwithpete.com. Again, that is connectwithpete.com. You guys have a blessed day. Bye.